What's up everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. So if you can't tell, I'm already just drenched in sweat, covered head to toe. Um, I've been out here for about one minute and instantly just sweating like crazy. I had to let my lens unfog before I could even start filming. It's easily 100 degrees out here right now. It's, it's just brutal. So I'm probably going to be sweating like a pig throughout the entire video. So uh, just giving you a heads up. But a couple weeks ago, I uploaded a video. I think it was the 9mm HST video. And uh, for the first couple minutes, I was messing around with a new slingshot that I had just got. Sorry, a wrist rocket. <laughs> I had a bunch of you guys correct me in the comments. I kept calling it a slingshot. It is technically a wrist rocket. But uh, I grew up my whole life just calling them slingshots, so I'm sure I'll make that mistake again today. But uh, we shot it a little bit, we played around with it a little bit, but it was very brief. So I wanted to come out and dedicate an entire video to these things and see if we can find out uh, just how effective or how deadly is a slingshot really. So I got a new one today. Uh, this is definitely a little bit better than the one I had last time. It's called a Powerline Slingshot B52. Uh, it's just a daisy, nothing special, but it is better than the one I was using in the last video. And they had one that looked like it was a little bit better, but as far as like how powerful it was, it looked about the same. It just had some other features that made it cost a lot more money but it didn't look like it was any more powerful than this one. People have been taking small animals with these things forever, and I have no doubt in my mind that it would suck extremely bad uh, to get shot with one. Whether or not it would actually like seriously injure you or not, I don't know. I kind of have my theories on how this video is gonna go, but let's set everything up and shoot this thing a little bit and see if we can find out how deadly is a slingshot. So as you can see, this one's definitely a lot bigger than the one that I had in the last video, and I got like 100 of these BBs, so. I'm sure we're going to shoot all of them today. Definitely way more powerful than that other one I got. I wonder how far I can hit with this thing. I'm at about 15 yards right now. Let's step back a little further. All right, now we're out at at least 80 or 90 yards. I didn't want to back up too much further than this, so let's see how many shots this takes me. Wow. That went about 20 yards too high. There it is. Ah. Oh. Man, that had to be like an inch underneath that target. It definitely ain't having a problem getting there though. I just can't hit it. There we go. Nice. <laughs> so I'm not gonna put all those in there. That took me probably 15 shots <laughs> to hit that steel, but I hit it. And uh, like I said, this is literally like my second time ever shooting one of these. So if you got really good with it, you could probably hit stuff pretty far away fairly consistently. They're like the silent killer too because they don't make any noise. Now what worries me is the velocity. So obviously there's way higher quality, much more powerful uh, wrist rockets than this that would give you much faster velocities. And if you could get it to go fast enough then it would definitely do the trick. But with this one, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like it's going fast enough to really be that deadly. All right, I don't know if this is going to work, but I want to try to chronograph one of these and see if we can get a ballpark on how fast these are actually going. And I'm like five feet away because if I hit my chronograph with a slingshot, I'd be pretty mad. So let's see what it says. I think it's going to be probably under 300 feet per second for sure. 145 feet per second. That's even slower than I thought. 143, 165, so that's a little bit better than 143 or whatever it was, but still not even breaking 200 feet per second. So we've learned that you can hit from pretty far away and that they're not going all that fast, but there's only one thing that really matters here, and that is what will it do to a watermelon? All right, it went in there. Let's see if it went out the other side. All right, we got our entrance hole right there towards the bottom. And around to the back side, you can see our exit hole right there. Just for a reference, let's see what a nine millimeter does. <laughs> Quite a big difference. <laughs> let's see what it does to our shaving cream. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, now I gotta hit that with a gun as well. All right, I know it can take out a two liter. Ooh. <laughs> that was so loud, oh my gosh. That almost sounded like a gunshot, that's crazy. <laughs> wow, I did not expect that. <laughs> 
if you can't tell. Real quick, look at where it busted that two liter open at. Right where the cap is at. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, I got one more test I want to do. I got my 20% clear ballistics gel block on the table, like two feet in front of me. And I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of nervous about this one. I'm scared it's going to ricochet back. So I'm at a slight angle, and I'm going to hope this thing doesn't bounce back from my face. So here goes nothing. Ooh, it hit me right in the arm. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. All right, I'm done with that. All right, guys, well, I had a feeling that's how that was gonna go, and that's why I was kind of skeptical about doing that ballistic shell test. But uh, like I said, there's definitely more powerful slingshots or wrist rockets out there <clears throat> that you could buy that would definitely uh, get you way higher velocities and just be way more effective than this one. Although, these are commonly used and, and you know, people kill rabbits and stuff like that, and I don't know if, if I would, <clears throat> you know, recommend that, it's probably pretty common that people just wound them and they run off and stuff like that but I wouldn't want to get shot with one I'll put it that way it would definitely suck and it would definitely hurt really bad to get shot with that slingshot and as you could see it didn't even go in the ballistics gel block so definitely not a viable self-defense weapon at least this one isn't I'm sure I'll get some comments down below if people telling me you know try this one or, or take a look at this one um, I'm sure they're out there I, I have no doubt that there are wrist rockets out there that will absolutely uh, take a person down or a large animal down. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you kind of had a little bit of fun with me. Uh, I did, I had a blast up until I got hit with a, a slingshot round on the arm on that ballistic shell block. But <laughs> other than that, it was a fun video and it was a fun day and um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know. Please leave me a comment. And if you would like to help support the channel, I'll put a link to my Patreon in the description box below. And you can visit me over there and uh, help support the channel and help make videos like this possible. But if you did like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up for me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.